Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are. I have a、uh, fifteen minutes today, so because after fifteen minutes, I gotta go do the syndication coaching. So today's topic that's focused on success is a numbers game.、Uh, I cannot tell you how many times when I try to start something new,、um, I always failed multiple times. Before I was able to finally get it done. For example, every time we're still doing cold call, so I have a team of、uh, cold callers. We still cold call expired listings、uh, every day. Is that's what I tell them? It's a numbers game. You want to? The goal is to talk to as many homeowners as possible. Until you get to talk to the homeowner, that's number one, willing to talk to you, obviously, right? And number two, that's willing to meet with you. We have the multi dollar.、Uh, we can we have a triple line multi dollar.、Uh, we can dial about、uh, this one time. I I was on the phone for I think two to three hours. I dialed like almost seven hundred numbers.、Uh, so it's a numbers game. But what happens is that a lot of times. Most people want to try, it, right? Most people want to be successful. Most people want to. Doesn't matter what your goal is. Some some people maybe you make you you're working hard trying to make some money. Some people maybe working hard trying to become famous. Doesn't matter where you whether you're going after fame or or money. Uh, it's gonna take hard work. So most people they're gonna try. And once they they try one or two times, and、uh, when they fail, then they just give up. So that's the story of most people. So that means you're telling yourself the wrong story, right? So you try it and you fail and you you give up and then you never try again in your life. Then you accept the fact that not a fact, but you you accept、uh, the story that you're telling yourself. Okay, I tried this, I didn't succeed, I have failed, so I'm a loser.、Uh, but that's that's just a story. Right, it's it's not a reality, but the problem is, if you tell yourself that story long enough, it's gonna become a reality. Right. Good morning from Dallas, Texas. Oh, I was just in Dallas, Eric. I just came back from Dallas yesterday. So the problem is, uh, in initially it's not a fact. It's just a story you're telling yourself. But the problem is, if you keep telling you that story, if you keep telling yourself that story, and you do not come back and try it again until you succeed, then that story you're telling yourself. Became your reality. So, good morning from Michigan. Good morning. So it's very important that you wanna, you wanna tell yourself the right story, and also also at the same time you want to,、uh, like Grant Cardone, what he says, right? You wanna ten x. You wanna do more of it.、Uh, if you try something, if it didn't work out, instead of quitting,、uh, all you gotta do just turn up the notch, just try more. It's just like when I was first when I was first starting doing the TikTok, right? Initially, I was doing like one video a day, two videos a day, and then it didn't work out. And then, then instead of doing one video a day, two videos a day, I started doing twenty videos a day, sometimes thirty videos a day. And、uh, because in the beginning you're not good at it, right?、Uh, then eventually, you know, some of the video become viral, and、uh, just from that one video, you know, I. Uh, there is a t- five thousand followers, ten thousand followers. So the reason you want to,、uh, you know, have the number,、uh, you want to try, you you want to do more of it, is because in the beginning, usually whenever you're trying something new, you're not good at it, right? If you're not good at it, then you got to use the quantity to substitute the quality, because you're not gonna you're not going to have the quality until unless you have enough quantity, because the quality came from quantity. Uh, but the problem is most people do not do not have enough qual enough quantity before they can reach quality. That's the problem. Hello, good morning. Hi, I really enjoy your perspective, Florida. Awesome. I was in Florida too. So this past week, I was in、uh, Chicago, I was in Florida, and then I was in、uh, Gulfport, Alabama, and then I was in Dallas. 
So it doesn't matter whatever you're doing, um, just do more of it, especially in the beginning. The, the newer you are, thank you for the roses, Mrs. Bomb. Especially when you are new at something, you want to do more. You want to do unreasonable amount. You want to do um, the, the, the amount of uh, practice that's unreasonable. You cannot be reasonable. It's like everything you do in your life. If you're going to be reasonable, you will not get anywhere. You know, a lot of times people, people you know, our parents that tell us, our, our relatives tell us, our friends tell us, Oh, you're crazy, man. Why are you doing so many videos? Oh, you're crazy, man. Why are you calling people at 8 o'clock in the evening? Oh, you're crazy, whatever. Doesn't matter. You have to be unreasonable. Because only if you're unreasonable, then you will, you will be able to do enough numbers. If you're always going to be reasonable, if you're always going to be political correct, if you're always going to be, you know, the middle of the road, if you're always going to be doing the same thing as everybody else, you will not do enough number, right? For example, when I was doing cold call uh, before, sometimes I call people during the holidays. You know, before when I was trying to, when I was looking for mobile home parks to buy, uh, I was calling people like, <laughs> it was like, a, I think Thanksgiving or something, <laughs> people got really pissed off. I was actually calling people, mobile home park owners, on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> and some of them, they get pissed off. <laughs> but that's what you got to do if you want to make it happen. You got to be unreasonable. You, you got to, you know, as, lo as long as you're not hurting people, it's okay. So sometimes I was calling people 8 o'clock at night. Sometimes I was calling people 8.30 at night. Uh, but at least I'm not calling people 12 a.m. at night. But I was calling people 8 p.m., 9 p.m. You know, I was, because I was... Because I wanted, I really wanted to make it happen. You know, I was calling two hundred own, uh, owners of mobile home parks a day. I was calling them, you know, nine p.m. at night. I was calling them during Thanksgiving. So I was being unreasonable, to, right? I was being unreasonable. I was, I was calling insane number amount of number of calls. That's what you gotta do to 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 make it happen, right? You you cannot, you know, try something it didn't work, and then you tell yourself, oh, it doesn't work, so I'm gonna give up then that's it. That's the story of my life. No, it doesn't work like that. If you accept that, then that's truly going to become the story of your life. That's going to become who you are. But if you, if you think of another way, I got to be unreasonable. I got to be, you know, I got to call. I got to do enough of it. I got not just enough. I got to do extreme number of it. I got 10 times. I got to do 10 times. I got to do 10 times, 100 times. You got to be unreasonable. If you fail, then you, you tell yourself, I got to continue doing it. I'm not doing enough. If that's your story, then you're gonna get it. Okay, let me let me go through the, the the comments. Follow my TikTok, give me some likes. Let me know where you're from. Uh, whatever question you have, we can talk about it. Share the videos. New Mexico. Hey, what's up? What's up? I was in New Mexico too, many many years ago. Uh, let me tell you this story. Uh, there is uh, years ago. I used to owe one hundred twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt. One hundred twenty thousand dollars in credit card debt. So at that time, I was just trying to figure things out. You know, I was uh, I wasn't making a lot of money. Uh, so I was I was actually using those uh, credit card money to pay for courses, pay for whatever. You know. So uh, anyway, I at I, I racked up this big uh, credit card bill. So some people they may say, "Oh, I have failed. I'm gonna file bankruptcy." But that I didn't. I didn't file bankruptcy. So instead, I actually got a job working in New Mexico. There was a restaurant, in a, a Chinese restaurant in Aztec, New Mexico. I don't know if you know where that is. So I worked there for two years and paid back my debt. And uh, I was able to start uh, with a clean slate. Hey, from Houston, Texas. My girl said she not wanting me anymore and want me to get a haircut. What should I do, gang? What do you mean? Your girlfriend, your girlfriend won't break up with you? Wants you to get a haircut. I mean, that relationship is different, right? Um, it's depending on whether if the person wants to be with you or not. Uh, whether you're gonna keep, continue to try to to be with the girl or not is your choice. Like when I first time started dating my wife, we were remote, so she was in Singapore at the time, and I was in uh, America, uh, and uh, we were dating remotely, and. Uh, we had some argument, so she blocked me. She blocked my WeChat. She blocked everything. Uh, so for the to a normal person, maybe they're just gonna give up, right? Because somebody you're trying to date, they block you, and uh, most people probably just gonna 
uh, gave up. But I didn't give up. So she blocked me. I flew there. I flew there and I, 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 I met with her again. So that's why we, we end up becoming married. So for most people, they probably just give up. So whenever if something doesn't work, the choice you need to make is not to give up. It's to, more, it's to do more of it. If it if, usually when you're doing something new, it's because you're not good at it. You know, you're a newbie. You, you don't know shit, right? And how can you get good at it? How, how can you become better at it? You need to do more of it, right? The more you do, the better you can become, right? My girl said she's not wanting me anymore and wanting me to get a haircut. Okay. Let me go through the comments, okay. Yo, she, yo, yo, kisho, yo, yo, kisho, what's that? It's been a resting week for me. Just tabs and sleep. I like journals and the teas. Yeah, I mean, there's time for, right? There's time to moving forward. There's time for rest. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta take it easy sometimes. Get it cut, friend. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Florida, New Mexico. What do you do with high interest rate to buy multifamily? You gotta be, you gotta look at the perspective, man. Now the interest rate is not high. If you look at the in history, interest rate used to be 15%. As long as you have the spread, you're good. For example, what I mean by the spread, for example, if you're buying a multifamily property, if the return is 10% and your interest rate is 5%, you have a 5% spread. Uh, if you buy something that was 8% return, but your interest rate is 5%, you have a 3% spread. So interest rate is high to us today. But if you look at interest rate in, in history, it's very low because interest rate used to be as, as high as 15%. Hola, Chico. Good advice, thank you. Yeah, so whatever you're trying to do, if it didn't work out in, initially, just do more of it. That's all you gotta do. Just keep going, keep, uh, keep plowing through, uh, you know, just do more of it. What are you selling? Uh, right now, I'm not selling anything. I'm just uh, sharing with you my, my, you know, the journey uh, through what I'm do, what I'm going through. Uh, a lot of times, you know, sometimes you see the video I upload on YouTube, on, on TikTok. I'm actually reminding myself. You know, sometimes I may say, "Oh, you fucking stupid," but I'm actually calling myself. I was just, you know, making those videos to remind myself to not, you know, do something stupid. To 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 keep, make sure I remember what I'm what I'm supposed to do. Okay, thanks, appreciate you sharing. Thank you, thank you. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys are working on. What, what obstacle uh, did you guys uh, face? Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. What are you trying to get a, a degree? What are you trying to get a business started? What are you trying to have a good relationship? What are you trying to have a good health? What are you trying to have, have a lot of money? What are you trying to become famous? Uh, it's, it it's all takes a lot of trial and error. It's not gonna, you're not gonna just be suddenly successful right away. It's always gonna take hard work. What's your advice for someone who is lazy and does not like working out and does not like vegetables? Uh, that's depending on what you, what you want with your life. You wanna figure out your why. You wanna ask yourself, what is my why? What is my reason to be here on earth? What's my motivation? What would make me happy? What do I want in life? You want to figure out what you want first. Because without a motivation, you're not going to do anything. You're just going to be lazy. You're just going to lay around every day. You're going to watch TV. You're going to, you're just going to be a couch potato. There's a couple of reasons people are couch potato. Number one, you don't have a why. Number two, you try something, you give up, and you think you cannot do it. So you got to figure out what you want, okay? 100K to Bitcoin or house. Uh, 100K... Um, I don't know, man. That's uh, that's your personal choice. Um, what most people do is they put maybe nine nine hundred thousand ninety thousand into something that's safe, maybe real real estate, and then they put ten thousand into something like uh, crypto, uh, because the you know crypto is kind of volatile, right? So it's depending on you. I mean, we I don't we we cannot nobody can tell the future. Even the you know the biggest investors they cannot tell the future. Uh, you can only uh, you know speculate, right? Um, if you put a hundred K in crypto, maybe you're going to get lucky. Maybe the crypto is going to go back up, but who knows? Maybe it will not go back up. So that's what, what you can do. 
ninety percent into a safe investment, ten percent into a speculative investment. Uh, so that if it go, if if it happens to go high, then you still can you know reap the reward. Do you know Kim Jam Yu, Kim Jam San, Kim Jam Young? No, I don't know him. Want to be a business owner? Don't know where to start. Okay, if you want to be a business owner, uh, a business it's it's pretty much selling, right? A business is nothing more than selling. Either you're selling a product or sell or you're selling a service, right? You gotta you gotta figure out, ask yourself, what product that I, I can offer, what service I can offer, I can sell, right? You just need to figure out what you have to sell, right? And then of course, whatever you gotta you have to sell, you gotta have some kind of competitive edge, right? You, what, what? Why should people come to you versus your competition, right? You gotta have something that you have other people do not have, your competition do not have, right? Uh, if you can figure that out, uh, of course, first you gotta know who your customer is, right? Uh, who's your customer? Um, what do they want? What's their pain? What's their problem? What 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 kind of problem they need to be solved? If you can solve their problem, if you can, you know, solve their pain, then they would buy your product. They would pay for your service. What exercise are you doing, and that what is the benefit? Okay, I'm doing a Wing Chun. Uh, the benefit it's a it's actually a. Um, it's not for show. It's actually for real combat. Uh, but I'm just practicing every day. Uh, it's a. Uh, Keep my body and mind, uh, you know, aligned. Uh, make sure I'm, uh, you know, on top of things. Make sure I'm uh, uh, focused. Uh, so that's why I do it. But it also can be applied to real combat. What do you think Bitcoin is worth? I don't know. I mean, Bitcoin right now compared to what the price was before, now it's much cheaper. That's 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 for sure. Are you based in U.S. or Canada? I'm based in the United States. Okay, let me do some sandbag practice. Then I'm gonna, I gotta. Uh, okay, let me do some elbow first. So I gotta, I gotta get on the call pretty soon. This is the elbow practice. Let me just do some sandbag practice. That's not boxing. That's a. Uh, I didn't box. I was using my elbow. I ever use the elbow as a weapon? Haven't done it yet. But I'm just doing this for practice. Okay, folks, thanks for the other questions. Thanks for joining the TikTok live. I gotta go on a, another coaching session. Uh, it's a one minute away. Uh, follow my TikTok, give me some likes. Uh, leave a question, okay? We'll talk next time.